Okay, so I have another example. Example two. Um, prove that this argument is, is, is valid and use direct proof. So it says P implies Q and R implies S, premise number one. Premise number two, not Q and not S. Therefore, not P and not R. Okay, so I already wrote down, sort of summarized all the, all the rules that we learned. So I'm gonna use those to prove this. So this is premise number one, premise number two. What am I supposed to do? Well, again, first look at the conclusion, the, the statement I want to prove. It's gonna give you the direction. So because this is a, a, a something and something type of a conjunction, I need, to, sorry, I need to prove that these two statements are separately true. So I need to prove that not P is true, not R is also true. Okay. Well, so I have two premises and they both have and. So I can just use the simplification uh, rule. So I don't know which one I'm gonna use, but let's just write down the conclusions by using the simplification. So simplification of the argument in uh, line one, I have, because this is true, P and, oh, I'm sorry, P implies Q must be true. Fourth, again, simplification of the statement in line one, I must have R implies S. Five, um, because I have this premise true, not Q must be true. This is simpli uh, simplification of the argument in line two. And then finally, not S must be true as well. Again, this is simplification in line offline number two. Okay, so I have now four additional premises. So what can I learn from these? Um, so look at the fifth one and the third one, right? They both has, uh, have Q. So P implies Q, not Q. So that's very much, not very much exactly uh, the modus tollens. tollens. So I can use it. So thanks to modus tolerance of argument three and five, I can basically say uh, P implies Q is true, not Q is true. So therefore not P must be true. So I basically prove the first part of the conclusion. And then in line eight, I can again use the modus tollens, I guess, because I have not S which is true, R implies S is true. So by modus tollens, not R must be true. Again, modus tollens of the arguments in line four and six. So once I have our line seven and eight, by using the rule conjunction, not P and not R, which is the conclusion that I was trying to prove is also true. Conjunction of the arguments in line seven and eight. So this is how I prove that this argument is valid.